Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again inside the athletic fields at Milford High School as Milford TV is happy to bring you coverage of Scarlet Hawks Athletics. This is Tim Coet on the call as we quickly get started with coverage of Milford High School boys soccer here this afternoon. The playoff bound Milford Scarlet Hawks in first place right now in the Davenport division by virtue of an 8-1-5 record overall on the season. They welcome in today to their, their home field, the Stoughton Black Knights, 0-14-1 on the season. The Black Knights reside in the bottom of the Davenport Division standings. Milford back at home after a lengthy road trip that took them to three different locations last week. Games at Foxborough, at North Attleboro, and at Sharon. So a very challenging week for Milford and trying to make the most of some early opportunities here. Some quick pace up the near sideline. And it'll stay Milford's ball. That was played ahead nicely by Jordan Borges. Once again, front and center. Or I beg your pardon, that was Leo Coelho. Giving way for the toss in to the captain, Tiago Carvalho. That ball up for grabs, squirting across the goal mouth. Now popped up in the air by Stoughton into dangerous territory. Carvalho will try to play it. And that is once again out of bounds. And it will stay with the Milford Scarlet Hawks. Milford still one of the top scoring teams in the Hawks so far on the season, though goals were tough to come by through that three-game road trip last week. It ended up starting off with a 2-2 draw against Foxborough, and after that back-to-back -back scoreless ties, as this ball comes right into the corner of the net and the save is made by the goalkeeper for the Stoughton Black Knights, Nolan Jerome, a sophomore. But back-to-back -back scoreless draws from Milford to close out last week against North Attleboro and Sharon. And now finally here, back on their home field, a nice backwards pass there attempted by Wallace and De Oliveira trying to hit Jovitor Nieva in stride. But play back across the midfield where Coelho picks it up. Coelho and Carvalho going back and forth. Tough defense being put on there by number five for the Black Knights, that is Carter Jerome, one of the captains, along with John Ortiz and Fabio Ponce de Leon. Down into the near corner again as this ball is played right to the edge of the playing surface. Javitor Nieva playing it back to De Oliveira. And now Stoughton trying to get the clear. But Milford staying poised, now shooting this ball ahead, trying to find Wallace and De Oliveira, looking for an early opportunity and sprawling out for the save was Jerome. So De Oliveira looking to net his 16th goal of the season. Came very close, but Jerome able to cover that one up, making a nice play here early on. De Oliveira held scoreless last week. He had taken over the overall points lead in the Hockamock League as now Stoughton's going to shoot one on net and that one drifts just wide to the right. That looked like it caught Joshua Orlana a little bit by surprise. He went sprawling out for it, but fortunately that one drifting wide to the right of the net. So some up and down action here through the early minutes. Still 36 minutes and change to go in this first half of play here in Milford. So the Hawks looking to get that offense jump started again. Coach Edwards prior to the game labeling this as a big game, wanting to start to regain some momentum for the late stages of the season. We're really down to it now. After this game this afternoon, just three games remain on the regular season schedule for the Scarlet Hawks, and that includes a huge contest there next time out. They'll be home again on Thursday to face off against the Canton Bulldogs, who are just two points behind Milford in the league standings. So that game could go a long way towards determining who takes the Davenport crown, and that is something that this team has locked in their sights as, again, Milford looks to center it up. Stoughton able to get to it first, and they'll pop this one back out to the middle of the field, played back in by Joey Madden. Now clogged up along the midfield. More good play early on here by Leo Coelho. Now, good ball played ahead to De Oliveira. Has a little bit of space. The defense quickly closes in for the Black Knights. Not many teams 
are going to be willing to give De Oliveira much space. This one coming in from long range and good hands for Nolan Jerome. He makes another save, already two good saves through these first five minutes of play. This is a Stoughton program that had made the MIAA tournament three seasons in a row. And then last year, a stark contrast, winning just one game on the season. They came into this year with 10 seniors on the varsity roster. They were confident they were going to be back in the mix for a playoff spot, but the season has just not gone the way the Black Knights would have hoped, winless on the year. It's been a tough year for both the boys and girls programs in Stoughton. Neither has a win yet on this 2018 season. Here's another one coming in on net, and Orellana able to pop that one just up and over. He was able to get a hand on it. And so Stoughton is pressuring Milford here in these early minutes. This is going to give the Black Knights a goal kick coming in from the far side. John Nevis is going to send this kick in. Not much wind. This will loop in the header opportunity from Ponce de Leon, but that one is going to go wide. So another good look for Stoughton, and this has been something that Coach Edwards has talked about at times in the year, how this team, this Milford team, has started out of the gates. A number of games in which he has mentioned the team has started slow, and they've had to pick it up in the later stages of the game. Stoughton looks to be the team with a little bit more spring in their step here through these first 10 minutes of action. Charles Boaventura able to intercept that pass. Now Milford with a head of steam up the far sideline. Now dumping it into the corner for Javitor Nieva. He tries to center it up for Wallace and De Oliveira. He was streaking towards net, but that ball did not get to him. As once again, Nolan Jerome was able to get his hands firmly on the soccer ball, and now... Stoughton will have a chance to advance. Cool conditions out there for game time. Temperature was hovering around the 50 degree mark, but feeling a bit cooler than that. Another good pass from Boa Ventura. And Joey Madden now all the way ahead for De Oliveira. And again, he is denied by the Stoughton keeper. Nolan Jerome standing very tall right now against one of the most lethal scorers in the Hawk. He'll send this one back out with 31-51. On the first half game clock, scoreless here early on in Milford. A couple of chances for Milford's leading goal scorer, also a couple of really good opportunities on the Stoughton side. And there certainly was the worry coming into this game. Would this become a trap game situation for Milford? Here's a good play ahead for Javitor Nieva, and he drills it through the uprights. You don't get points for that on the soccer field. Little amped up on the release for Nieva. We wait for the ball to get sent back in play as the clock now will tick just under 31 minutes. Now the long toss by Jerome. Nieva back with it again, tries to keep it in and that will tick just out of play in front of the Stoughton bench. Milford closing in once again. Now back to midfield, and it drifts out. Last touched by Carter Jerome. Never trying to give Milford a little bit of space. Now here's De Oliveira. Trying to weave his way through a couple of defenders, and Stoughton's able to clear. Coming into today's action, 
Milford has scored a total of 32 goals on the season. They've allowed just eight, which is now tied with both North Attleboro and Mansfield for the fewest allowed in the Hockamock League. The 32 goals scored tied with Mansfield for second most in the Hawk. Foxborough now with 44 goals. They have really gone on a scoring spree in the second half of the season. Here's Caravallo now to the near sideline for Lucas Da Silva. Now back again to the senior captain. And that pass offline, intercepted by Fabio Ponce de Leon. Quick pass ahead towards Carter Jerome. It was a little softer, I think, than Ponce de Leon had intended. Just under the 30 minute mark here, as Stoughton will get the toss in on the far side. So I mentioned the offensive and defensive numbers coming into the game for Milford. Stoughton, a different story. They have scored just eight goals on the season as Orellana has a little trouble picking up that ball. He finally secures it. Eight goals through 15 or through 16 matches on the season for the Black Knights. They've also allowed 57 goals. They have scored the fewest goals on the season and they have allowed the most goals on the season in the Hockamock League. Not a recipe for success, but again, getting off to a good start in this game, still scoreless. And Milford can't afford to take any games for granted if they want to keep their eyes on the prize of a league championship. I talked to the team at length last week about what it meant to the program to finally work their way back into the playoffs, securing that playoff berth with the win against Attleboro back on October 10th. And the team feeling good about getting back into the playoffs, but quickly resetting the expectations now. They want to win that Davenport Division title. They know it is well within their reach. And Coach Edwards really not wanting to talk about the accomplishment of earning a playoff spot at all. He had quickly turned the page on his next level of expectations for this team. Has every confidence in the world that this team has the talent to make a very deep playoff run. They've sh certainly shown that through this point in the season. Looking to stay consistent in these final four games until the playoffs do arrive. Also wanting to look at going into that MIAA tournament with the best possible seeding certainly think that this team would be in position to host a playoff game with the record where it is right now at 8-1-5. and five. This ball poked loose back to midfield. Here's Boa Ventura. A lot of praise for Boa Ventura from his head coach when we spoke last week, saying that a lot of what Joao does out there on the field is not going to make its way onto the stat sheet, but has been playing some of the best soccer in the league as De Oliveira is there for the second chance effort and puts it in the back of the net for the first score of this game. Finally, one leaked past Jerome. Stoughton trying to get numbers back there defensively, but Wallace and De Oliveira just too quick. He nets his 16th goal of this 2018 season and puts Milford on top one to nothing. By De Oliveira's standards, three games without a goal has been a long drought, but he is able to end that drought here in the first half. Still 26 minutes and 34 seconds to go as Milford is able to take the lead. Milford now looking to extend. A lot of work across the midfield for John Santos, a junior midfielder for the Stoughton Black Knights, but Milford now back up into their attacking zone. Nieva looping that pass, trying to find De Oliveira, and you can see a lot of conversation between the two, trying to stay on the same page. 
And that's the kind of intensity that this team has. They're never satisfied. And we'll see our first substitution on the Milford side of the day. And to the game comes Anthony Salvador. Salvador scored his first goal of the season in that 2-2 draw against Foxborough last week. And now another pass trying to drop it in right in front of De Oliveira, but Fox, excuse me, Stoughton able to get the partial clear. Now Madden steps up to keep it in. He'll get it back. And now rolls it to the far sideline. Moved along, but right to the keeper, who scoops it. And now Nolan Jerome. He'll send it the short route to Mateus Ribeiro. Ribeiro protecting against Salvador. Now moved along, but right to the third captain on this roster for the Scarlet Hawks, Tiago Philadelpho. Stone unable to save that. Ribeiro with a good try. Now Lucas Caetano with the long toss. Here's De Oliveira now. Moved over in the direction of Borges. Now some hesitation at the top of the box and Stoughton Able to get a piece of that on the way through. That looks like, again, it was Coelho. Coelho's been a big factor in this first half so far. Past the length of the field, ends up finding Alefe de Oliveira. He'll get it back, has some space, just couldn't play it cleanly. Had it hit off the side of the foot, if he could have settled that, he would have had a perfect look on net. Now Philadelpho blasting this one down deep. About to pass under 23 minutes to go. In the first quarter, still a 1-0 lead for the Scarlet Hawks on the back of the 16th goal of the regular season for Wallace and De Oliveira. So I believe the final goal total of last season for De Oliveira was 15, so he's now able to set a new single season total. Of course, I believe he only started seeing regular playing time at the varsity level partway through last season, if I remember correctly, playing a full season at the position this year. This one kept alive deep for Stoughton. Madden trying to stay with his man. And that ends up going out of play. It'll be a goal kick for Orellana. It's like a little sun's trying to break through the cloud cover here on what is been a textbook fall afternoon here in Milford. This one squirting past the defense and got the whistle now. Fabio Ponce de Leon trying to make his way into the box, got the contact, and big opportunity here for the Black Knights to perhaps even the score. Free kick coming right at the top of the box. Almost a penalty shot for Ponce de Leon, and he sends it wide to the right of the net. And frustrated with himself.
And so Milford avoids another scare. They continue to lead one to nothing with now 20 minutes and 36 seconds left in the first half. There's Carvalho now protecting, drifts it to the near side, gets it back, and can't fight through a couple of defenders. Stoughton looking more aggressive here after allowing that first goal. Now through traffic, it's Boa Ventura. He loses it. And now this one looped to the top of the box. Philadelphia and Boa Ventura move it along. Played nicely by Carvalho. Now it's Borges over the middle. And Borges will drop it deep. Here's De Oliveira trying to fight for it. They get past the keeper. Can De Oliveira put it in again? Yes, too easy for Wallace and De Oliveira. Got behind the keeper. And then it's no problem finishing. His second goal of the half, his 17th goal of the season. There is just no stopping Wallace and De Oliveira. There is a word that Coach Edwards continues to use when talking about Wallace and De Oliveira, and that is simply, he is a beast. And that is on display here so far in the first half, giving Milford a 2-0 lead. A timeout is called for on the field with 19 minutes and 48 seconds to go in the first half. We will take the break as well. More to come in just a moment here on Milford TV. It has been the Wallison show here in the first half against Stoughton. Two goals for the junior striker. And Milford in control here so far. Two to nothing the score. Stoughton with some chances to get on the board themselves, but they haven't been able to capitalize. And De Oliveira absolutely making the most of every opportunity he has had so far. As Ponce de Leon sends this one far over the net and well out of play. Orlando Orlana now gathering it in. There have been three different occasions so far on the season that Wallace and De Oliveira has come through with the hat trick. And so he will have quite a bit of time in this game here today to tack on a fourth hat trick on the season. And gets the ball on his foot again here, perhaps another opportunity, and Stoughton guides that one out of play. They'd rather take their chances with the corner kick. This one will come in from the far side, a little over 18 minutes left in this first half. Into the top of the box, right to De Oliveira, tries to turn around and blast it, but that one deflected, and no doubt on a cold day like this, that one is not gonna feel great. And you can see now, suffering the after effects of that block. That was number 23, Ikenna Dilke. My apologies if my pronunciation is not pristine, but certainly feeling the effects of that block, but it does keep the score at 2-0. Philadelphia surveys the field and then finds Leo Coelho He's able to dance around one defender. Now finds Carvalho. Carvalho will let it roll. And Stoughton able to take it back. Now Joey Madden very calmly will deflect that one back to Orellana. Another topic of conversation 
which we'll get to in a moment. Jao Vitor Nieva, a laser right into the back of the net. Nolan Jerome did not even see that one coming. Absolutely rifled in by Jao Vitor Nieva, and Milford rolling now up three to nothing. And so Jao Vitor Nieva now with his fourth goal of this 2018 season to go along with an assist. And it is that secondary scoring that is going to continue to play a huge role for Milford, especially once they get into the playoffs. And you obviously know once you get into that MIAA tournament, you're going to be facing some of the best defense in the state. And while you know what you're going to get effort-wise out of Wallace and De Oliveira, if you do run into a defense that can find a way to contain him, it's those secondary scoring options that are going to be the difference, and Milford has really been able to develop those as this chance goes up and over the net for the Black Knights. And looking at some of that secondary scoring, João Vitor Nieva now with four goals on the year. Lucas Da Silva with five goals. A couple of players with two goals apiece, Omar Lima and Jordan Borges. And also Anthony Salvador and Leo Coelho with goals on the season. So a lot of players have gotten on the score sheet for this Milford team this year. And they can score in a hurry. Coach Edwards telling me last week, a lot of times when you look at these finishes at the net, all you need to do is look back a few seconds into how that play developed, and it was the play from the defensive line through the midfield that makes these opportunities happen, and you could see it there just how quickly that developed for João Vitor Nieva. So a three to nothing Scarlet Hawks lead with still 14 minutes and 31 seconds to go. This is actually the first meeting of the season between these two teams. They will have their matchup at Stoughton High School next week on October 29th. That will be the final game of the regular season for Milford. It will actually be the final game of the regular season for both teams. As the kick is blasted in from the midfield and now Milford looking for a quick breakout and a little bit too quick. Offsides was the call. Salvador on the far side, can't control that. Now down into the corner, Joey Madden, and he gets tripped up. So back-to-back -back games in which this Milford offense was not able to generate anything into the back of the net, although Coach Edwards telling me before the game that in the Sharon game, which was played on Saturday evening on the road, Milford with a number of very good chances that they were just not able to capitalize on. But making up for it here in this first half with three goals so far, they still have 12 and a half minutes to increase that lead. Stoughton has allowed some lopsided final scores on the season, a couple of Six goal, six goals allowed performances. They lost a matchup to King Philip back on September 26th, seven to one. We'll 
We'll see some heavy substitutions now on the Stoughton side. With now under 12 minutes to go. The head coach for the Black Knights is Joshua Aubin. Ted Sears, the assistant coach. Here's Nieva again trying to find De Oliveira. That took a tough bounce right at the end. It looks like it looked like De Oliveira was going to have a play on that one. And now substitutions for Milford as we'll see Jordan Borges and Leo Coelho come back into the game after checking out briefly. And we'll see a break now for one of the goal scorers in this first half, João Vitor Nieva. Here's De Oliveira. He sends that one in. Did it break through? And it looks like it did, just sneaking over the goal line. And that time, De Oliveira with the assist. No goal, no goal. That was very close, and going off of the reaction of the keeper, he thought he allowed that one in, but not the case. So it stays a 3 to nothing score. We play on with 10 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Milford ever so close to making it a four to nothing score. And now this one is going to find De Oliveira, or so it seemed, but the offsides call and Nolan Jerome can breathe a sigh of relief for the moment. That was close, but offsides was the call. Good strong move on the ball by Fabio Ponce de Leon as Stoughton has not seen very much time in their attacking side since early on in this half. Carvalho trying to clear it out. Here's Jordan Borges. And now again, ahead to Wallace and De Oliveira. Hesitates, gets past the keeper again, and there is the hat trick once again for Wallace and De Oliveira. Goal number three of this half comes with nine minutes and 11 seconds to go. And a four to nothing lead now for the Milford Scarlet Hawks. And just the acceleration from De Oliveira to separate himself from the defense. He is a fun player to watch, there is no doubt about it. Scoring now three of these four first half goals. And now perhaps looking for more. Focus! This ball deflected, stays with Milford. Hawks trying to clear themselves for another look on net. De Oliveira will poke it back. And now this will drift in. And making contact there was Jordan Borges with the keeper. And he is down and in some pain as play continues. Now the ball drifts out of play. And Borges still unable to get to his feet. So we will have an injury timeout here. We will take that timeout as well with eight minutes and 13 seconds to go in the first half. It is a four to nothing lead for Milford over Stoughton here on coverage of Milford High School Boys Soccer on Milford TV. Well, on a cold day like today, any contact is not gonna feel good and especially hard contact there for Jordan Borges as he came in on the keeper. Down for a couple of minutes on the turf, able to leave the field under his own power. Trying to walk it off now on the sidelines as we are set to continue with just over eight minutes to play 
in this first half. It has quickly gone in Milford's direction. A four to nothing lead. A hat trick already for the star scorer, Wallace and De Oliveira. Now Coelho back across midfield. Anthony Salvador losing his footing. Carvalho couldn't wrestle that ball free. Now gets another chance. Drops a pass over towards Nuno Mestre. Seven and a half minutes to go now in the first half. Coelho able to win that one back. Good go. footwork all the way up ahead to De Oliveira. Oh. Trying to make a defender miss. He stays with it up in front. And finally the save made this time by Nolan Jerome. Got him a couple of times early. Oh, gosh. De Oliveira making a bid for a fourth goal in this half. Looked like he was going to have it for sure. And in the end, Jerome... Looked like he might have made that save with his foot. But however, whatever it takes, the keeper will certainly accept keeping that one out of the back of the net this time around. Stoughton just trying to survive to the half at this point. Fans here in Milford taking in this game, having some fun. <laughs> now De Oliveira will play this one down towards the corner. Lucas Da Silva was over in the vicinity. intercepted right at midfield for the Scarlet Hawks. Now some room up the middle. Played to De Oliveira. Can he reach it? That will go out of play. A little too far out in front. Short kick out to Mateus Ribeiro. Now over across the middle. Juliano Oliveira there to initially play it. And De Oliveira again, just a step or two off sides. Ryan Reese with a little contact with De Oliveira after the play, and Reese ended up on the losing end of it. Just four and a half minutes remaining now. Here's Mestre up the near sideline, trying to center it up. Now Stoughton trying to clear. Milford taking the opportunity to get some pr fresh personnel into the game. Gabe Alvarenga, Brian Treya into the game. We'll see Joey Madden with a rare rest. <coughs> with a four goal first half lead, an opportunity to give some of these starters who have 
shoulder the load here throughout this long regular season. A little bit of rest. Now Boaventura in there deep. He sends the shot in, but that hits off the side of the net. And the fans looking to see Joao Boaventura rewarded for all of his work throughout this season. We mentioned it, not a lot showing up on the score sheet, but tremendous contributions. And if anything, his coach saying he's been one of the top players in all of the Hockamock League this season. And a near goal late in this first half, but it hits off the side of the net, and we dip under the three-minute mark now. Stoughton gets something organized here late. Game clock is stopped now with play under three minutes to go. Whistle now as players collided at the far sideline. Whistle going against the Scarlet Hawks. When played in deep to the corner. Now Orellana and using his height to his advantage to pull down what was a high arcing shot and that will end up being the final play of this first half. So an exciting offensive period for the Milford Scarlet Hawks as they saw not one, not two, but three first half goals from Wallace and De Oliveira. 18 goals to his credit now overall on the season. Javitor Nieva with the other goal here in the first half and it all totals up to a 4-0 lead for Milford here at the break. We will pause briefly and have the start of second half action for you when we return next here on our coverage of Milford High School Boys Soccer on Milford TV. Well, any concern that this may be a trap game for the Scarlet Hawks was quickly put to rest with an impressive first half performance. Welcome back in here to the Milford High School turf field as we begin second half action between the Scarlet Hawks boys soccer team and the Stoughton Black Knights. Milford with a four to nothing lead. A hat trick for Wallace and De Oliveira in the first half. Xavi Tornieva with a goal as well. So De Oliveira had fallen to third in the league in points after a quiet week last week, but depending on what happens with the two players in front of him, Dylan Barrera, who came into today with 22 points, of Foxborough, Griffin Roach of Canton with 21 goals, or 21 points, I should say. But at least as of right now, De Oliveira back in the mix for that top spot in points, trying to streak ahead with that ball. But deflected by the Black Knights, Milford now attacking from left to right here in the second half. A lot of the starters back out there to begin the second half, but you'd have to imagine if the score continues to get out of hand, we'll start to see Coach Edwards once again go to the bench. And De Oliveira. Stealing that one away, now again using the quick acceleration, an early chance here in the second half and rolls it through. And there is goal number four in the game for Wallace and De Oliveira to give Milford a 5-0 lead. It is just that easy for Wallace and De Oliveira. And now the ball booted deep down into the corner. And Orellana, through traffic, plucks that one down, now quickly moves it forward. Jao Vitor Nieva to the far sideline. He has some room. Milford quickly back to work offensively. A give and go between 
Nieva and De Oliveira, and it is called off sides. And Milford is a couple of close offsides calls away from this game being even more out of hand than it is. So after three times on the season, notching the hat trick for De Oliveira, he had to do himself one better here today now with four goals in the game. And so you can only hold down this Milford offense for so long after a couple of scoreless draws, they were bound to break out and they have broken out in a big way here this afternoon. Orlana guiding that ball. <laughs> Pass net and out of play. Dylan Barrera, who came into today with the points lead in the Hockamock League, also had the goals lead with 20. And Wallace and De Oliveira now hot on his heels in that category as well with the four goals now this afternoon. De Oliveira is now up to 19 on the season. Could have an opportunity for 20 right here. And not this time. A more fearless play in net for Nolan Jerome who was able to lay out to make the save. You really can't argue with the performance in net for Jerome in this game. He has made some good saves. He's been fearless, as I mentioned, but it has just been a relentless assault by this Milford offense tonight. Only so much you can do. See some players starting to get loose on the sidelines. It seems as though we are not too far away from a parade of substitutions coming into the game. Nice to see Jordan Borges back into the game after he was shaken up in the first half. This ball came in nearly perfect for Nieva. Heads it back to Oliveira in the vicinity and quickly Stoughton pops that one out of play. Toss it into Joey Madden. He centers it, and Jerome flies through traffic to head it away, but then quickly shot back in from the edge of the box. And make it a six to nothing score. I believe that was Lucas De Silva, number 16 with the goal, as we saw it start out with another good play from Jerome, who was trying to direct that one out of traffic, but he ended up directing it right to Lucas Da Silva. And Da Silva able to get on the score sheet here in the second half, and it is a six to nothing lead for Milford. And with such a long way to go here in this second half, things could really get ugly. Some substitutions now. You see Jordan Borges, Joao Boaventura, Joao Vitor Nieva all on the sideline. May very well enjoy the rest of this game from the bench. Stoughton now with the breakout. And played all the way in, and a nice save made by Oralana. He laid out for it after John Nevis was able to bring that all the way in. Trying to go the length of the field for the goal. Leads to the corner kick opportunity. <laughs> and 
now still up for grabs for Stoughton, now deflected away to the edge of the box. Now Milford can't quite stick with it. Now here's Carvalho. Milford now with a partial clear. Stoughton dumps it back in, but this will be an easy play for Orellana. So Milford now tying their single game goal total. Their best mark on the season, it was a 6-0 victory over Attleboro. That was the playoff clincher. Now here's another one coming in from long range. And count it. And everything falling for Milford now. Pedro De Silva, we're told the goal scorer there. The roster not quite up to date this late in the season, so we apologize for the delay, but Milford now grabbing another goal here, a seventh goal, so there is now a newly established season high in goals in a single game for the Scarlet Hawks, and they are just coming rapid fire. So in the span of just eight minutes so far here in the second half, we've seen three more goals tacked on by Wallace de Oliveira, Lucas Da Silva, and Joe Pedro Da Silva. Good times just rolling here for the Scarlet Hawks. They still have two more home games to look forward to here in the late stages of the season. They have the big matchup with Canton coming up on Thursday, then a Saturday non-conference game against the Hopedale Blue Raiders before they close out their season on the road against this same team. Here is Wallace and De Oliveira again, wins it back. Trying to deke his way around a defender. The ball ends up deflecting back to Omar Lima. And now another one sent on the keeper, Nolan Jerome, who has had his hands full throughout this game. Wallace and De Oliveira making a bid for his fifth goal of the game. Still 31 minutes to go in this second half. Conditions continuing to darken out on the field. Heavy cloud cover overhead, the light's not on. This ball in deep. Back to De Oliveira, and that one deflected away. Wallison stays with it. And now we'll send it back to Joey Madden. Now in again to De Oliveira, turns around, tries to get the angle around the defender, was able to send it on net, and that one off the hands of Nolan Jerome, and also off the crossbar, and it deflects to the corner. And now this ball sent well wide of the net. It is a shooting gallery on the Stoughton net right now. These Milford fans absolutely love it. This has been about as rowdy a crowd we have seen for a soccer match here so far this season, loving what they've seen. Oh, 
More substitutions now as it looks like we'll see both Joey Madden and Tiago Carvalho head to the bench. Wallison de Oliveira is still out there. There's Salvador. Anthony Salvador playing it back. Now up the far side. And Milford with some space. Now De Oliveira again, he can't get around the defender this time as that ball gets angled out of play. Ryan Reese able to stay with Wallace in that time. <laughs> 28 minutes and 36 seconds to go in the second half and Milford all over the Stoughton Black Knights. A corner kick coming up now. And this will drift the length of the field. Milford able to corral. Now again in deep, here's Anthony Salvador. He gets around the defender, in towards the net, and he scores. Anthony Salvador now with his second goal of the season. Everyone running out of room on the scorecards here in the press box as Milford now opens up an eight to nothing lead. Anthony Salvador joins the goal scoring party. And it looks like now we will see De Oliveira reluctantly head to the bench. Looked like he was trying to make a case to stay out there. <laughs> it's been that kind of game. It's one that Milford would like to see just keep going and going. And for Stoughton, these final 28 minutes will no doubt feel like an eternity. Ball played forward, here's Salvador. Gets himself plenty of room, can he get another one? Instead centers it up and in for Omar Lima. So Salvador had the clean look himself, decides to center it up for Lima who puts it in. And we are now at nine goals and counting. Two goals within a minute. Salvador nearly had them both. Instead, paved the way for Lima to net his second goal of the season. And Milford has just absolutely broken the will of this Stoughton defense. This is going to be one that Milford fans will enjoy watching over and over again with just the relentless scoring. Yeah. At this point, the Scarlet Hawks with an opportunity to get into double digits on the scoreboard. So plenty of time left to do it. 26 minutes still to go. <laughs> JV squads showing up now at the conclusion of their match. I have a feeling there were more than a few double takes JV players entering the varsity field here looking at that scoreboard. It is indeed 
A nine in the column for Milford, nine to nothing. Stone losing control there, but the whistle comes in. So Milford as a team now. With 41 goals now on the season. Puts them now just three shy of Foxborough. As the free kick opportunity blocked by Milford. Now the deflection goes out of play. Foxborough and Milford, the two most potent offenses in the Hockamock League. But of course, the big difference separating those two teams, the defensive numbers, Foxborough has allowed a total of 28 goals on the season, Milford just eight. A change in net for the Scarlet Hawks. Cam Doherty now in, replacing Orellana. Not many starters still out there on the field. Here's Salvador moving the ball ahead for Alefe de Oliveira. And the centering pass just a little bit too slow. And now this one will miss to the right. A lot of personnel getting a chance to play in this game and everyone feeling like they have an opportunity to get on the score sheet. Ronde Monaghan there with the potential goal scoring chance. And that pass looking for Salvador ended up going out of play. So at this point, looking at the standings around the Hockamock League, it looks like we're going to see a heavy presence of Hawk teams in the postseason. Milford and Canton most certainly will be there. North Attleboro and Foxboro as well look to be playoff locks. As Salvador continues to fight for it down in the corner. So... In all likelihood, we will see four of the six Davenport Division teams make it in to the second season. And over on the Kelly Rex side, Mansfield most certainly in at 10-0-5 overall on the season. Looks like Oliver Ames and Franklin will most likely be joining. Looks like at least seven of the 12 Hockamock League teams will see postseason action coming in just a short time from now. Again, most teams will wrap up their regular seasons by midweek next week. And then we'll get the official MIAA seedings from there. And at that point, we will know just where Milford will land and who their opponent will be. And certainly if that game is at home, we will look to have the coverage for you here on Milford TV. So again, Milford making it into the postseason for the first time since the 2013 season. Made back-to-back -back trips to the playoffs in 2012 and 2013, and since then, it's been a rebuilding process. Coach Brian Edwards certainly has been a big part of that in the senior class as well. Still over 20 minutes left to go in the second half. And after the 
first 10 minutes of the second half were a nonstop assault. We've seen the pace of play slow down just a tad. Milford tosses back in now as we are about to cross under that 20 minute mark. Milford playing it back to the keeper, Doherty out to the far side. Now the ball played ahead towards Alefe de Oliveira. And a one on one battle and loses his footing and is going to hear from it from his teammates on the sideline. He deked himself right out of his cleats. Everyone having a good time on the field, off the field here for the Scarlet Hawks this afternoon. Lights now coming on here in Milford. We've got 19 minutes still to go now. Salvador loses his footing. Gets right back into the play and the ball eventually sent out of play. And despite having a nine to nothing lead, you see a lot of these Milford players on the sideline still standing, still active cheering on their counterparts on the field. This ball finds its way back to Nolan Jerome. Again, he's going to have a stat line to regret in this game, but I have to admire some of the gritty play he has shown throughout the day. Got some more substitutions coming up for Coach Joshua Aubin at the next whistle. Again played out by the Stoughton keeper. Monahan in the neighborhood, but Stoughton able to deliver it downfield. And now this will find its way back to Doherty. Doherty can't clear it, and fortunately for Milford, Carter Jerome could not settle that one down. The senior captain still in there for the visitors. Looks like we'll see Omar Lima return to the field here momentarily. And sent on ahead, Alife de Oliveira splits a couple of defenders, sends it on net, and the save is made by Jerome. Across the way to Salvador, he couldn't settle that one down. Ends up deflecting to Mason Eckelman. Now across the field to Mateo Eckelman. Play. This will allow the substitutions to come in. Lima and also Leo Coelho back onto the field. Now 
This kick finds its way to Salvador. He slides to settle it down, now able to carry it over the middle. Brings it forward for Monahan. Here's Monahan, stays in there and deflected away by the keeper, now wide open. And the defense doing all they can. Finally, Jerome able to get back. So a strange end to that play. As Stoughton is able to deliver it back out to the midfield. Milford's certainly not going to complain. Randy Monahan making a bid for his first goal of the season. Now Salvador trying to hit Omar Lima, but he wasn't quite ready to receive the pass. That hit off the back of his foot and deflected out. So 14 and a half minutes to go in the second half. It is a nine spot in this game for the Scarlet Hawks. Nine nil the score. We saw five goals scored in the span of about the first 12 minutes of this second half. It was a four to nothing lead at the break. Wallace and De Oliveira with two goals in the first half, two goals in the second half. And a host of other contributors on the offensive end for Milford, it has been Non-stop good times on the field today for Milford. This time the whistle going against the Stoughton Black Knights. Stoughton will close out their 2018 season. They have just two games remaining after today. They will play at home for both of those contests. Match against Sharon, and then the aforementioned September 29th tilt with Milford. I'm sure that is not one that the Black Knights will be looking forward to on their home field. And this one sent in from long range for Monaghan. Now Salvador, he loses control. And slow to get back to his feet. Now a potential chance there for Ted Lucas. Back in play as we are about to tick under 12 minutes to go. Milford <laughs> couldn't quite get the clear, now pushed back ahead for the Knights. Now Lima. The whistle against Stoughton. The clock still winding here, under 11 and a half minutes to go. The temperature feeling like it's continued to drop here steadily since play began. Lima and Salvador go back and forth. This ball rolling free inside the box. Stoughton clears it out as far as center. Pushed back in by Coelho. Now this pass sent back out to nowhere. Stoughton, the only ones in the vicinity. This 
Players out there for the Scarlet Hawks looking to stay focused right until the end. Got a little over 10 minutes to go. Goal kick deflected. Now back to the defense. Now under 10 minutes to go. Monahan, a good pass. Push through, but all the way to Nolan Jerome. Looks like Tiago Carvalho now has volunteered his services as a ball retriever on the sidelines. Continuing to contribute despite being long out of this game. Two very different sidelines right now as we get down to the final minutes here. A lot of lighthearted fun on the Milford side, on the Stoughton side. A lot of heads down sitting on the bench. It's been a tough one from the Stoughton perspective today. Lima takes this pass, keeps it in on the near sideline. Ends up leaving it behind for Lucas Caetano. Now cleared back across the midfield. Juliano Oliveira sends it back to the keeper. Now we'll get it back. 7.45 on the game clock. Drifted over to the corner, no one there. Jerome uses the feet to slow it down. Now eventually picks it up. So the focus for Milford will quickly shift towards that Thursday matchup with Canton. That actually comes as part of a boys and girls double header of soccer action for you here on Thursday. Milford TV will be present for both ends of the doubleheader. So we'll have a chance to see the Lady Hawks in action before we see a battle of the first and second place teams in the Davenport division on the boys' side. Looking forward to bringing that to you. Wide open field here for Mestre. Now the shot delivered by Monahan. No one has wanted a goal in the late stages of this game more than Monahan. Ticking down to six minutes to go. It's ball free on the near side and Juliano Oliveira deflects it out of play. This will be the eighth league win on the season for the Scarlet Hawks, their ninth overall on the year. Monahan 
Monahan and Lima. Lima battles through one defender, has one more left to beat. Deals it to Monahan, and the sprawling save made by Jerome, and now cleared away by the Knights. It was the best chance yet for Randy Monahan. And again, that just goes to show you the skill set of Nolan Jerome. His defense has led a lot through throughout this game. But when he's had an opportunity to make the save, he's done a nice job. The clock stopped now with under five minutes to go. So this game quickly coming to conclusion. And deflected out by the Scarlet Hawks. Stoughton upping the tempo, trying to find a way to put one in here late to avoid the shutout. Should Stoughton fail to score here in the final minutes, it would be the 10th time they have been shut out on the season. Pass doesn't quite get to Lima. Play back and forth across the midfield with just a couple of minutes left to go. The late corner kick chance here for the Black Knights. John Nevis will set up for it. And deflected through, and that is in. And so there will not be a shutout here today. A corner kick chance with just a couple of minutes to go, and Ted Lucas is able to head it in to make the score 9-1. to one. So, so Ted Lucas... Giving the Black Knights a little bit of a boost here in the final in the final minutes of play, and it will prove to be the final play of the day. So Milford just seconds away from a shutout win. They allow a goal here right at the close, but all in all, an outstanding day for the Scarlet Hawks team. The offense erupts for nine goals, and they end up winning this game by a final score of nine to one. Four goals in the game for Wallace and De Oliveira. Now has 19 in total on the season. Joao Vitor Nieva with a goal in the first half. Joao Pedro da Silva, Anthony Salvador, and Omar Lima, the scorers for the Scarlet Hawks here today. So an outstanding performance. And again, they will look forward to a battle with the second place team in the Davenport division in the Canton Bulldogs when they return to their home field here on Thursday. And again, we will have that action covered for you here on Milford TV. Until then, a big thank you to Rob O'Keefe here on the coverage, and I am Tim Coet. That final score, one final time, 9-1. to one, Milford defeats the Stoughton Black Knights. This has been a presentation of Milford High School Athletics here on Milford TV. So long, everybody.